can Efia Odo right here in the studio with me? And it's amazing, but why Efia Odo? Well, I'm, my name is Afia, okay. and I'm all about love. Oh. <laughs> I am. I just love love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. But Carla, you have been nominated as one of the most influential, you know, personalities on social, when it, on social media. And we can actually add peace, hide, and I'm okay. Because yeah, yeah. you guys have really worked your way out. And <laughs> you've been very positive, you know, on social media. How do you use it? How effective how effective are you using I, I don't even know I don't know I don't know what they looked at. I don't know. But if it's if it's just being able to move people, push them, like, you know, push product and get people to follow and everything, then maybe, yeah, I try to I get responses from people that ask me to, you know, hype their yeah. stuff and it's really like amazing. It's it's amazing how it goes. Don't like, you think I'm it's also I, because when you're real because you know, well, I mean, yeah. you're a celebrity. Your mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. life is mm -hmm. out there for yeah. people to yeah. know about, and and they know very much about it. I mean, they don't know the you know details yeah. about it, but they feel they know much about it. I think I, I think people also want to be able to feel like they know you, like you're their next door right. neighbor, like they can relate to you, they right. can talk to you yeah. at every point. Yeah. Because there are too many girls that come to me every other day. You know, what about are some the of the issues? problems of the concern? Pregnancy yeah. is one. I'm telling you, yeah. like, it's insane. Yeah. The direction these girls want to go or the, the problems they find themselves in and to think that you are the one they think they can talk mm -hmm. to. It's really I'm an pregnant excuse. Yeah. and I don't know what I want to do. I'm confused and all of that. And these are very intelligent girls. So if they... And even sometimes it's just a normal relationship, you know, issues that they have. Sometimes it's just personal family and everything and it's good that people watch you on there and they feel like they can talk to you like a big sister you understand yeah. so maybe on, on a scale of one to ten i probably am doing an, an eight you know in terms of putting myself out there and making it look really good for people to want to interact and and of course like i will hit you too if it's like i say all the time but you still have to like the tough love you you give but mm -hmm. you still check them in a way, and that's what I do. You balance it out. You can't always be too sweet. You can't always be too rude, you know, too arrogant. Just a bits and pieces of everything kind of adds up. Don't you think sometimes it feels like it's a competition? Let me throw that question oh, yes. to you. It's a competition. Thank you for <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come back to you, Caroline, on this one. Don't you think that it's too much of a competition on social media? Competition as in, is as in what? As in what happens if you, when you look good. Okay, fine. Let's say... This is when you looking are great. To with each other. And but I think that's so stupid to me. Like, why no, are you competing? How? What are you competing for? What you, what's, what's the end prize? I feel like you should just be yourself. If you don't have it, don't act like you don't, like you have it. And if you have it, be it. So any girl, I always tell girls, come to me for advice, Sophia. I want to be like, no, don't be like me. Be yourself and be good and be happy and just express love. Like, just be good to yourself and be yeah. good to others. There's no competition in this world. Charlene, what's your take on that? <laughs> uh, well, uh, for me, personally, the, the competitors there, most of them are real life friends mm. who are falling out. So now Ooh, they bring yeah. it on social media to attack themselves. It's as if they are not watching, but they're watching their pages daily. So that's their problem. Though. Yeah. Like, yeah, you have real life friends. You guys know what you're up to, what you do, and then you fall out. And now everybody wants to try and let the other person know. Even yeah. the celebrities do it. It's so sad. It's like you see celebrities just bash themselves every other time. One minute they're friends, Next tomorrow yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're enemies and all that, and they're putting their whole business out, out there. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ordinary people that they don't know from anywhere to now come and give Judge them you. the praise and, you know, back them. That is my problem right now, that celebrities are putting themselves out there like that. Mm -hmm. Instead of just making these followers know that, oh, this is who we are. This is the life we're living. Mm -hmm. We're here to no, We can you. fight, but we can still move right, on. Right, right. They just dirty them. Let me use the word. They dirty themselves. <laughs> and they don't even care. Mm -hmm. Because they think that is what's going to give them the numbers when they go on radio no, or no, they go on TV. No. Everything is about the following. Like, exactly. <laughs> you know, well, you know what, ladies? This is just amazing. Um, we're about to go. And it's been a great conversation. And I'm sure that we would want to tackle this again because there's a lot happening, right. especially when we don't know the terms and conditions when it comes to social media. Because people just put things out there, yeah. forgetting that they're, you know, image.